Welcome back, Miraculous fans, to another live reaction with Hungry Harmony. And this is episode 16 of Miraculous Season 5. And I want to wish you guys a happy Miraculous Monday. And last week was quite hectic, but I'm really grateful for you guys commenting down below on your thoughts of the rings being taken. I want to give like an after talk about that, but I don't want to tell you. This is my intro, so don't want to talk too much about it. I just want to say one thing that thank you so much for commenting. I do really appreciate you guys' thoughts and opinions. But um, some of the things you said, I'm like, I don't think they clarified that in the be like in the episodes before. If they do talk about why the rings would be still useless even after you take them off of Gabriel is because it's it's it wouldn't work because they're trapped in that. Th I just there's no explanation. We see it them trapped, but it doesn't explain of the things. I just I just need more explanation. I need more detail. Unless the detail's gonna come later, then you guys spoiled it for me. <laughs> but. Hopefully that wasn't the case, but again, like, I feel like they could have definitely taken half the rings off. And even if that case, like, just then Gabriel have to make new rings, but that makes no sense. Those are the miraculous as he turned into essences. I'm just, it's, it's long story, long story short, but I don't want to keep you guys waiting. Let's get started <gasps> to episode 15. So, not 15, I just did that last week. 16! I am, I'm out of it. See, I should not talk. I was talking about last week's episode, that's why I got confused. So, let's go. Episode 16. Woo. Yes. Simply the best. Up to the test when things go wrong. Miraculous. See, those are miraculouses. There's no um, makes sense. I'm kind of curious on what technology he used to keep the miraculouses trapped. Now, that's something new because they can go through any physical thing. I've been wondering about that since the big get protection. No, 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 you guys are not supposed to be friends. You still hate her. Sorry, I have to go meet the others. You don't have to apologize. It's not your fault that Marinette hates me for no reason. Just go. I admire you so much, you know? I don't know how you do it. I too was in love with the boy once. When he didn't want to see me anymore, I was in pain for so long. I couldn't get him out of my head. But you managed to turn your love for Adrian into a friendship. You even helped Marinette get closer to him. If it hadn't been for your big heart, none of what's happening today would be happening today. You're so perfect, Kagami. I'm proud to have you as my best friend. Best friend? Really? Oh, you're gonna go so gonna get it lighter when you betray her. You're gonna so get it. Under normal circumstances, that would have been a done deal long ago. But since you two lovebirds are the most awkward, kids on earth, Mercury thought you could use a little kick in the ass, a little help. Our plan is to help you live out of Kick in the alley? That will make you want to kiss each other without needing to say a word. So we reserved a pot on the Ferris wheel just for the two of you. The place will be magical. Oh my gosh, anime or manga in this case. I love it. Don't force something that's not meant to be forced. Okay, so they are separated into two separate. I was like, are they both like? Okay, so they are different locations. I thought they were all standing right next to each other. I'm like. I wish. You guys already kissed like well, five hundred times. Sorry, five times, probably. Really? Uh, 
Don't force it. You guys are forcing it. You guys are forcing it. It's not how it works. It's sweet, but that's not how it works. We'll find something else. Don't. don't. It's not you, it's me. It's not. I don't have the magic in me. It's none of you guys. It, it's not, it's not Adrian. Don't change the subject, gabriel -san. Why are you so anxious to move up the date of the Diamonds Ball? Oh, it's just a scheduling issue. Your lies show an unacceptable lack of respect. I'm not lying. Your heart beats louder than a taiko drum. Why do you want to move up the date? He's uh, hurt. Because I don't have much time left. Uh, oh, didn't she already tell that to her? her I thought that was just the way she was. I thought it was sweet. I thought it was just her charm. But now that I know it's because she loves me and she freaks out. <gasps> okay, guys. For me, the most unrealistic thing I just saw today, just the most unrealistic, it wasn't that, but this. Man acting funny in my presence. How strong is that knife that Gorilla Man can cut through perfectly hard crust bread in one swoop? Like, that is a miracle knife. That is the most unbelievable thing I have ever seen, and I'm really fascinated about it. I know, that just distracted me, because it's just like, oh, like, can I have that knife that can cut through bread just with one like hard crust with softness in the mm, oh, mm, mm, European bread. Mm, oh, I miss my home. I miss my home. Okay, good thing. Sorry. That's the only thing I discovered today. It was just her charm. But now that I know it's because she loves me and she freaks out about telling me, I feel bad. Because it means that this whole time she's been uncomfortable around me and I haven't done anything to help her. Well, you didn't know. You didn't know. It doesn't take away from her suffering. I just wish she could feel more at ease when she's with me. Otherwise, one day it'll be too late and she'll give up. What can I do to help, Adrian? Thanks, but it's not up to you or anyone else to help. I'm the one who's got to do something. I know everyone wants to see us happy together, but it's putting a lot of pressure on us, with or without kissing. The important thing is that we feel good when we're together, right? I'd do anything to make that happen. Looks like your doubts are finally gone. Yes, Kagami, I'm ready. Made for each other, just as planned. Perfection calls for perfection. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna prepare a special picnic for just the two of us. No friends around, no outside pressure, and I'm inviting Marinette right now. Hopefully she can be herself and finally open her heart and soul to me, free of her fears. Oh! She I was about to say, like... Adrian, thanks to you, Kagami. Kagami, you best. Marinette is a very lucky girl. Read the message, press play, listen to it. Bad idea, bad idea, because they don't know, but it's a bad idea. Wear your favorite clothes. Just wear you. Just don't wear your pajamas. What did I just say? Well, precisely. If he really loves me, he'll love me in my pajamas, too. <laughs> All of our plans are falling apart. You were... Marinette, cool. But you're going to someone else's house. You're going outside in your pajamas. You're going outside in public with your pajamas. Has any of you guys ever had the dream where you went to school with your pajamas? I've had that dream. And it actually happened, but it, I did it without even noticing. I remember I went to the bathroom when I was, I think I was like in third grade. I remember sitting down, it was the winter time because I didn't remember what pajamas I was wearing. But it was winter time, I remember sitting down, went to the bathroom, and I looked, and my hands were like down at uh, my legs, and I just remember looking down, and I'm like, underneath my sweatshirt, a long, like a long sweater, my pajama long sleeve was on me, I'm like, ah! But only the top. It was only the top because I would definitely have known if I wore like double pants. But it was so funny. I was like, ah. like no wonder I got up, or no wonder I got ready so fast. I didn't even realize it. But yeah, I, I think I had like a winter sweater on me, and but I had a long, I had a, like a long sleeve pajama to keep me warm in the winter. But <laughs> but Marinette, no, that's a bad idea. Please change because you're going to the Gabriel Iglesias. You're not gonna show. Not that you want to impress Gabriel. You probably kind of want to do, but 
you probably want to be dressed to visit Gabriel or Natalie. You're going to someone else's house. I would never go to someone else's house in my pajamas. You control your son, Gabriel. And you, your daughter. My daughter is so perfect. She doesn't need me to control her. Well, it appears she does. It's not my child who's falling for someone completely wrong for her. But she seems to be the one encouraging him. Take control of your son, and she'll have nothing left to encourage. Organize the dance as soon as possible. Don't fail capturing Ladybug and Cat Noir's miraculous. It is imperative that this situation be resolved before you leave. So you don't even want to help him get Got better? It. We're going. Before you leave? Oh, I know it's Sorry. Context came back. I didn't know you and Kagami weren't seeing each other anymore. You were such a perfect couple. It's a shame. Kagami's perfect, but not perfect for me. You underestimate yourself. You and Kagami are of the same design. I just feel better with Marinette. You're clinging to Marinette because her mediocrity... Same design? Please don't let that theory come back, please. No theory, not theory. Better than Marinette, Dad. If only you knew her. She's generous, funny, creative, brave. Mom told me how you met. You two came from different worlds, but that didn't stop you from loving each other. Why shouldn't it be the same for Meredith and me? Adrian, I'm your father. I know what's best for you better than you do. That is why I'm forbidding you to have any relationship with Marinette Dupin Chang. You know I really? Mother, but much to my regret, love cannot be controlled. Don't try to convince me that you don't love him anymore. He loves Marinette, and Marinette is my friend. Some knots can't be undone. When the knot cannot be undone, a summer cuts right through it. You're she just your wants tell you what to do. friends. What do you want me to do, Black? He's my father. What do you want me to do, Black? He's my. I'm sorry you can't come. I can't talk to you. Are you gonna be okay? It's probably because his father wouldn't allow it again. Call. Good call. Nothing to worry about at all. You have to take things as they are, don't you? <laughs> father forbids any relationship with Marinette. But how am I supposed to do that when we're in the same class? Natalie, you had a talk with Adrian. Adrian, listen to me. When it comes to your love life, you're free to decide whatever you want to do. Oh, don't let anyone else tell you how to act. Not now, not ever. You're right, Natalie. I don't know what came over me. Please don't let it be the theory. Please, I beg you. I'm still thinking it's manipulation or is it like hypnosis. And you're right. It doesn't change a thing whether I worry or not. So why worry? Come on, let's go. Since we're back home, why don't you get changed before we leave again? Please. Tiki, it's life. It breaks the magic of the moment. You start putting on socks and the next thing you know, you're making foolish plans all over again. I've decided that I'd be in my pajamas, so pajamas it is. There's a form of respect. Oh. Gorilla Man best as always. I forgot something. Don't go anywhere. It's better this way. Finally gave Adrian pajamas. Yes. Maybe you would rather watch a movie. You're kidding, right? That's impressive. You gave Adrian a counter order. The power you have over Adrian doesn't mean you can go that far. You were right, Natalie. My mother would like me to get closer to Adrian. I still think I it's think hypnosis. Again, but I don't want to cause them any hurt. They're my friends, and they're obviously meant to be together. I feel so weak for being a victim of my own feelings. It must be so hard. But just know that I'll always be here for you. Oh, I'm sorry. Someone tried to call me. I have to call them back. Mr. Agrest, I was just about to call you. You were supposed to be keeping an eye on my son. Most importantly, protecting him from toxic people like this Marinette Dupin Chang. Things are already in motion, sir. I believe you know Kagami Suruvi. This young lady needs to be perfect so badly that she sees any emotion she might be feeling as weakness, and it's devastating every time. 
So much so that she's already fallen prey to Monarch more than once. What does this have to do with me? Kagami is in love with your son. This whole story with Marinette and Adrian is breaking her heart. Monarch will probably turn her into a supervillain soon. If Marinette and Adrian learn that their love was hurting their friend, then we always end their relationship in the end. What a sad situation. Don't you think? All that's left to do is wait then. Exactly. Just wait. Where is my staff? I'm sorry, that was my mother. She couldn't remember where she put her... The heck did I put my staff? I wish I didn't ah! But I can't stand to see you suffer like this anymore. You can't attach so much importance to your friendship with Marinette. Marinette is your best friend. 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 Marinette is your best until I finally opened my eyes. If you look closely, it's not Marinette helping everyone else. It's everyone helping Marinette. She pretends to be weak in order to take advantage of all of you. As a result, you all feel like you have to help her. Poor Adrian. Since you two are no longer a couple, he's got no one to protect him. He, too, has fallen into her clutches without realizing it. Don't you think it's weird that Marinette only ever stutters, face plans, acts all uncomfortable in front of Adrian? That's because from the beginning, she set her eyes on him. With people as perfect as you and Adrian, things are bound to work. You are the ones who should be together. You're the ones who belong together. There's no way. I, I need to talk to Marinette. Don't waste your time. Manipulators like her always manage to lie their way out of trouble. And of course, Adrian would stand up for her. Toxic people like that are dangerous, and you just need to get as far away from them as possible as soon as you can. I know it's terrible, but there's nothing else we can do. She's about to cry. Lila Rossi was right. Gagami's emotions are powerful. Luckily, I have just the recipe to reconcile her. Lila, I missed ya. Oh, come on, not again. I am Monarch to help you take revenge. I'm giving you back your powers, but this time to help you cut through the veil of lies. I am also giving you an extra weapon. Please, your power is now mine. Transfer. Two things. One, okay, I just realized the reflection when he actually did with ways. I actually saw Monarch's reflection. That's amazing animation detail. I didn't notice that until now. If, if that animation has been there this whole time, I've been distracted of every time the Kwame gets to, disappears into the ring. But I just literally just saw the animation of Monarch's reflection in the... I, that was like, whoa. Sorry, that's just... That fascinates me how well detailed they do things. I, I love... The animation's just amazing in this, in this season. It's just... Wow. I love it. Second thing. Someone's gonna get a butt kicking from Sarugi because someone akumatized their daughter again with the same thing. No offense, Gabriel, I feel like you should be afraid of Sarugi, what, you, what she will do to you next, because what did she do? The, again, they want to break the contract. What contract is this? I don't know. I don't care. Well, I do care later, but I'm just like, you just broke the promise again if there was any kind of promise but you kind of did okay well we're gonna get some butt whooping from Tsurugi against Gabriel so that'll be fun the essence of the miraculous of protection what goes a sword without a shield it's time to unmask Marinette to Fanchang I'm so sorry what do you see in that one a horse a fat pony how about that one a heart no I just saw them they're both with their faces. Aww. They're holding hands. They're so sweet. Are you sure you're ready? Yeah. Wait, did he just do kumatize himself? Aww, so sweet. I've never admired the clouds in my pajamas with anyone before. Is it always this amazing? Adrian. I'm sorry, but how convenient. All that awkwardness, all that hesitation that made you so 
Oh, Johnny. John. No, wait. That was not the same one. Repost. Toy forgot. Your sacrifice will not be in vain. Okay, Kagami. Get over here. I don't have my staff! Where's my staff? Nice. So only one at a time. Good to know that it transfers. So you only can catch one at a time, which makes sense that Miraculous can only do that once. Can I snap over there? I need my fucking staff! Don't say it out loud, Tiki. They can still hear you. Be in the sh sheltered thing, I guess. No one's around? Just kidding. It's always the plot hole. <laughs> oil? That does what olive oil comes in. I was about to say, like, whiskey? No. That's a different sh look of bottle. She comes with stuff. Slippery. Okay, it wasn't there. It's been a while since seeing repost, but I remember that. It was a good episode. That was the first time she ever got acclimatized. And then Oni chan was later when Alia got got me acclimatized for being alive. Which I'm so confused, like, seriously? Seriously? You got me, you don't remember what happened back then? Or maybe I'm not remembering. I'm not sure, but I remember she did not treat you well. Or treated you with the lies, because you called her a liar, like, multiple times. Here's a new one! A new reminder! Oh, 
Mommy, you need a hug. Hi, come on. There you see? See? Double hug. Let my emotions get the better of me again and cloud my judgment. I'm so weak. No, you're not. Forgive me. It's okay. Don't try to push your emotions away. Don't. Look them in the eye. Acknowledge them. Figure out what they're trying to tell you. And turn them into energy to move forward. That's real strength. That is. Love yourself the way you are. Just like we love you the way you are. See, those are good friends. <laughs> I love you both. Oh, come here, come here. I really come. wish you two being in love wasn't so painful to me, but it is. We're sorry. It's not your fault. I love this episode. This is really good. Try again? I, I'm going to head home. You're not mad, right? I understand. It's all right. We have all the time in the world. Yes and no, but yes. The worm is in the fruit. It's only a matter of time before their relationship becomes spoiled. Why don't you find another partner for your son so you can control him better? I'll think about it. <laughs> I know what Lila tried to do. Like, no, pick me, please. You chose me last time, sort of. Really? Oh, Kagami, I was so scared for you. All because of that horrible merit. I'm going to try to tell you how I feel as best I can. I don't know why you think these things about Marinette. I think you're wrong about her. I love Marinette. I love you too. I'll still be your friend if your friendship is genuine. But you won't use me against her. I am not a puppet. Of course I'm being genuine with you. I'm sorry if I ever led you to believe that I was trying to turn you against She's good. Marinette. She's that good. Was never my intention. Yeah, you kind of did. I to share my feelings with an open heart. My best oh, you're so good. I love that you're so good. I love that you're so good. This is what makes me love you as a villain. This is what's great. I hate you with a passion, but that's what makes you a great villain. <laughs> In a good way. This is really good villainy. Chloe is just freaking annoying and we know she's bad. She's predictable. Lila is not. That's why I really like her as a villain. Because I'm like, ooh, how are you gonna... Boil my blood this time, Lila. So good. So good. So good. This is probably one of my favorite episodes right now. It didn't have like big reveal. No. This had emotion. This had passion. This had honesty. This had lies. This had deceit. This had a lot of questions. Um, but. still think it's a form of hypnosis or manipulation with something. I don't want to say it, but I'm going to say it just so you guys are on the same page with me. I am... I am against... I don't care if the writers have announced it to be canon. I don't think it's true because there's no proof. Unless you're going to prove it later, which I'll, I'll honestly be done if that's the truth. Sorry, I'll get to the truth, or the, to the point of what I'm trying to say. The theory of Adrian being a senti monster just sickens me. But the hints of it are kind of there. But when, um, when Ephemeral came out and other stuff, uh, or before that, I was just thinking, like, the ring is like a form of manipulation that Gabriel can use against Adrian to follow his orders. So in this case, I like to say it's a hypnosis, hypnotic, like every time, like, you know how they said, like, every time you hear the word, then, then they do it. Like, it's a form of manipulation to the point I think they manipulated Adrian so much after the tragedy, which I'm not surprised. Adrian lost his mother. Tragedy, depression, everything, anything, probably what Gabriel told him, he just been following ever since putting him to complete, like, literally gaslighting him to the point of he can't c almost control any specific order he does with twisting the ring. It's like a form of, like, oh, every time I twist the ring with my hands and give an order to Adrian, Adrian will do it automatically without hesitation, without any uh, resistance, if that makes any sense. So, in this case when Gabriel just said like counter ordered or something like that I'm like huh so and there's two different rings unless unless well no I don't think this I don't think he has a ring anymore no no Gabriel doesn't have the ring it's it's not like that has the ring 
So in this case, Natalie... So in this case, like, it's the still same motion. Every time something like this around the finger, something like that, can manipulate Adrian. That's my theory. That what makes more sense to me than him being a senti monster. Um, and I know you guys will probably agree, because most of you guys have written, I'm like, yeah, Adrian's a senti monster. I'm like, no. But we all have each other's opinions. I don't care if the writers or whoever posted on Twitter. I'm never on Twitter, because that place is mental illness to the max. Um, but uh, just saying like, oh yeah, Adrian is a senti monster. It's proof because this person posted it on the miraculous page. I'm like, I don't care. I don't care. Even when the, like, right now you guys wrote in the last comments about that the rings cannot be taken. Like, oh, because this writer said, I'm like, I don't care. Not saying this is ignorance coming from me. I'm just saying what I'm observing through these episodes. No thinking of Adrian being a senti monster whatsoever. Honestly, there was too many evidence against it to him being one. Too many evidence against it being one. But again, the show shows it that he's a senti monster. I'll cry forever because he does not deserve that. Adrian does not deserve that. But that's another story for another thing. But that's why I'm thinking right now that he, in Natalie counter order that he counter hypno, hyp, hypnotized or counter ordered Gabriel's order to for Adrian not to see Marinette. But Adrian did say in a way like, oh, I like she's like I can't see you today. And I love how Marinette says, like, oh, probably his father won't let me. Well, which I'm like, yes, that was a good response, Marinette. That was a good response, because you, of all people, would probably know how Gabriel responds. So in this case, it's like, oh, this makes sense. And that was really well played out, really well rolled out. And, and then... But even Adrian didn't say, oh, I can never... I, I can't see you. No, he's, he didn't even say, I can never see you again. If it was never... Mary and I would have a different response. But all he wrote was like, I can't see you. Perfect. That means it's not huge. Like, he's still strong to enough to not exactly do the order. But he then, with Natalie telling him, like, no, you should do what your heart desires if you want to be with the person you love with. That shouldn't change anything. And I'm like, that was very motivational. And Adrian did it sneakily. So it wasn't like talking to his dad saying, Dad, I don't care what you say, I'm bringing Marinette over no matter what. No, he did it sneakily. So I'm like, ho 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 ho, well done Adrian. So in this case, he's still himself. It's not a form of senti monster, robotic nothing. So, yes. And now with Lila, still very excited where we're gonna go with this. I think the writers are doing a good job with Lila. They haven't ruined her character yet. Um, I, honestly, this is one of my favorite episodes. Even from the beginning, like the friend, like the friends were telling me, like, "Don't push it, guys! Don't push it." And the talk between me, uh, Kagami and Adrian was just amazing. And and her feelings coming out, like how many of us, or how many people in the world, teenagers, young adults in the world, have felt that the person that someone else they're with someone is just hurting me so much. And the thing is, like. And Kagami's right, like, it's my feelings. I need to deal with it. I just love the message here. I love the message here. And Kagami understands, like, this is feelings that he, she feels she needed to let it out. That's a good thing. She's let it out to the most closest people she trusts. Hopefully more than Lila. But that was so healthy for her. She needed that. And even Adrian and Amy are like, we're sorry. Like, and it's like, and then she says, it's not your fault. It's just my emotions. And I just felt like that was so great because I felt jealousy all the time when I saw couples together and I was single and I just just seeing them just like I'm so jealous I just want to cry just like it's not fair why can't I have someone who cares about me or I could care about them as much as they would care for me nothing and they were just it was so frustrating but it's something I had to deal with it was not their fault I acknowledge that this is my emotion. I need to get over it, and I did. I did get over it. I got over it sometimes. Like then, sometimes it came back, but I still dealt with it, even though it was hurting. And I told my friend this. I'm like, yeah, I see you guys. I feel jealous, but it's something I need to deal with. It's not your fault. You guys be, you know, lovey dovey if you want, but it's. But if I'm feeling jealous, it's on me. It's not on you. So yeah. Um, <laughs> ah, fun, fun things to remember from the past. Uh, but yeah. This was really good. I honestly, even though there was no reveal, there was no. This is, I think, my favorite episode. From from that, like from the start, this is my favorite. 
this is my favorite. It's about Luca. I wonder what Luca would have done, but yeah, of all the episodes, <laughs> we didn't have Chloe, maybe that's why it was a good episode. Nah, it's just, this was a good one. This was great. This is definitely gonna be my top tier. Top tier. I very much enjoyed. And learning more about Lila, and learning about her scheme, and what she's gonna do. And I think she's kind of hinting at that Monarch is Gabriel. I think she knows that, but she's not revealing it because she's trying to outsmart Gabriel, I think, somehow. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, but something. Maybe she overheard conversation. I won't be surprised if she overheard conversation between Gabriel and Natalie, honestly. I won't be surprised. Well, guys, I'm going to end it here. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I actually had fun this time. I I didn't get frustrated like last episode. Like, there was no dumbness here. I was, like, so happy. And I'm just... Gruleman was best! As always, I love Gruleman. And Natalie, awesome as well. Um, but yeah, I, I would really love to hear from you guys what your thoughts on this episode was. And if... Please, I would I would like to ask a favor. Please do not talk about the Senti Monster thing. I don't really want to deal with it. I don't want to talk about that. I might do one day a video about talking about the theory, but please do not talk. I, that's not what I was trying to get at. But I was just about the manipulation and hypnosis thing. But yeah, but I would love to hear from you guys what you guys think about Lila, her plan, Gabriel not having that much time, Sarugi. I'm actually... I didn't see any butt kicking. Excuse me. There should have been some butt kicking. Uh, well, at least it wasn't that she could almost get... Um, evaporated so it was, she was still safe she was safe um which is good what happened last time oh my gosh that was imperfection yowzas but yeah so thank you guys and um again please like comment share and subscribe if you have not subscribed to my channel yet i would love for you guys to support me if not that's totally fine it's your choice i'm doing this for fun so hey but if you like to subscribe i'd love to um see you guys hit that subscribe button but if not, again, okay. But if you don't want to miss every video I upload of Miraculous, please, guys, hit the bell, notification bell down below. It will help you uh, get you notif notified every time I upload a video, especially a Miraculous one. So, hey, if you want to subscribe and press the notification bell, that'd be awesome. And thank you guys again for uh, watching. And again, happy Miraculous Monday. And now Hungry Hermie is going to be out. Out. Though I'm so mad I couldn't find my staff in my room. Where the heck is my staff? But I'm gonna be miraculous, as you should be also be miraculous. <laughs> Simply the best. I messed up. That's okay. Up to the test when things go wrong. Found it, guys. Have a good night. Alright, let's go patrol our own city. Come on, Izzy. Antlers ready.